Hey everybody, welcome back. We're looking at some petty neighbor beef that made it to social media. And I think in honor of this video, I would like to show you my new setup. <laughs> petty has been restocked on the website. Definitely grab yours. We have limited stock available. And once it's gone, I'm serious. This time it is actually gone. Trending, fireworks, stop, stop it. Here's my question. Why are you in bed annoyed about the sound of the fireworks as opposed to going out and enjoying them? Life is short, Karen. My very angry TED talk to my Facebook neighborhood group. There are legal ways to enjoy fireworks. Setting them off in Elgin City limits is not one of them. Remember, some people who fought for the freedom you are celebrating have PTSD and this can be traumatic for them. There are pets who don't understand your glee. The houses that can get burned down aren't going to be rebuilt by the fact that you think it's fun. And yes, there is a burn ban in effect, so you're literally risking burning your neighbor's house down for fun. The children who are losing sleep aren't going to be any less cranky tomorrow because you had to do your celebrating. Think of someone other than yourself. Every firework you set off can be heard for five blocks around you and affects a large part of the community who elected to do other things than be a jerk tonight. So if you are a decent citizen, do not set off fireworks. That is not patriotism, it is selfishness. Thank you for coming to my very angry TED talk. Machine Pun Kelly, remind me to not invite you to my parties. You know, a small part of me does agree, but just because you're annoyed by fireworks does not mean that you can stop them from happening. Just like I can't stop the garbage truck from waking me up every morning at 7.30 and then the next day the recycling truck waking me up at 7.30. There's gonna be fireworks. Especially on the 4th of July. I can see how it gets annoying. Especially in a place like the States where I'm pretty sure fireworks are legal. Let me do my research. Yeah, pretty much legal. When neighbors start talking, good things happen. I hate every single one of you. <laughs> we have to learn how to play nice in the sandbox, friends. Really good drama on next door today. This woman posted calling out her elder neighbors asking if they have a large collection of clothes because she's looking to refresh her wardrobe and has a fondness for older items. The old folks dug up her Depop and they're pissed. Okay, I literally think the senior citizens in my neighborhood bullied this girl off of next door. Her account seems to no longer exist. I think there is a strong possibility that that is true. Just wait for them to die like everybody else. God, go to an estate sale. Don't pander your neighbors. No solicitation. Neighborhood Facebook group wants to get a summer camp canceled because it's going to shut down one block of parking spots. I swear, I feel like we just never really grow up. No, that's mine. That's mine. You're on my side of the property line. That's my parking spot. Need to rehome a dog. Small terrier tends to bark a lot. If interested, let me know and I'll jump over my neighbor's fence and get it for you. <laughs> you know, I think stealing dogs might be illegal. There's a strong possibility that that is a crime. But I can understand a uh, small terrier getting a little bit annoying. Nightly visitor. That's my friend I call George Jones. <laughs> He's been visiting me nightly since he was a little tiny guy some months ago. He eats slugs and fleas <laughs> and a few other pests in my yard. I say hello, George, and he crawls right up close to me and sniffs around. He's my buddy now. He was trapped inside a trash can once as a juvenile and I let him out. I think he remembers I saved him. He's a cool friend now. Okay, this doesn't even belong in this video, but I have thoroughly enjoyed your post. Thank you for sharing. Message to the thief. To the person who stole my plants and stand from my front porch, grow up. I hope you get diarrhea. <laughs> I hope you get diarrhea and stub your toe really hard. <laughs> Don't walk by my house again. Nobody likes you. To my deceased grandmother, who was the original owner of the plant, please kill the plant. It's not at home anymore. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness me. You know, I think that if I found out that someone who did me wrong got diarrhea, I would be very happy about it. I kind of want to say that to the next person that sasses me. I hope you get diarrhea. <laughs> I hope you get mud butt. On my two and a half miles with my dog, I saw a grand total of 13 American flags flying. I was hoping to see more. Your emojis are the Liberian flag. I like your eggs in real bro. That's not even, that's not even the right flag. Patriotism, America. To be fair, they do look kind of similar. 
<laughs> so embarrassing. I just want to say thank you to the lady that walked with me this morning with both of our dogs. I did not realize you were not the gal that I was supposed to be walking with. Just this week, I joined a walking group and today was my first day. When I ran into you, I really thought you were the gal I was supposed to be meeting. I did not mean to stalk you all the way to your house. <laughs> And thank you for listening to my crazy life story about my broken computer and teaching first grade and distance learning. All I know is she teaches fifth grade in Rancho. As soon as she walked into her house, Jody, the lady I was supposed to be meeting, called asking if they had missed me. Imagine my surprise when I realized I was walking and talking with a complete stranger. Anyways, thank you for walking with me. Please PM me so I can assure you I'm not a total nutcase. <laughs> Maybe you can start walking with the group too. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. Sorry again. I like how going up to a stranger and walking with them is seen as like not socially acceptable. I swear I'm not crazy. Okay, I've seen this before, but I'm gonna read it again because it is literally that funny. Spy flowers. <laughs> My neighbor has this flower peeking into my backyard. I couldn't get close enough to see if there's a camera hidden inside. Is this even legal? I think it might be legal. It might be. That flower is 100% a spy. Can't trust anybody. Not even foliage. Today's top post. Meanwhile, in Georgia, fart found. <laughs> I found a fart. Guys, I found a fart today. If anyone lost a fart today, I found it. <laughs> it was lingering casually in the potato chip aisle at Kroger around 12.15 today. Obviously had not been there very long. Caused me to lose my balance and blur my vision for a bit. Probably still there. Please keep your farts secure. We have laws. Imagine if there were laws around farting. <laughs> I'd be in jail for sure. Solitary confinement, basking in the stench of my own farts. <laughs> no, but my farts smell like roses, guys, remember? I'd like to report a crime. I'm seeing houses with Christmas lights up and it's not even Thanksgiving yet. Are we talking American Thanksgiving or Canadian Thanksgiving? Because Canadian Thanksgiving is in like September. That's a bit much, but American Thanksgiving, you're cutting it a little close. I say the minute November 1st hits, you're getting Christmas. You're getting Christmas, Charlotte. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> hey everyone, I'm Christian. We recently moved in with my friends. We're hardworking dudes, always happy to help need be. Signed, Christian. Welcome to the area. Please keep your religion to yourself. <laughs> yeah. I don't wanna hear about it. You Christians, you're always pushing your agendas. If we don't recycle, can we return the huge green cart? No, Kent, if you don't recycle, you can shove the green cart up your ass and die. <laughs> More of this energy in 2022. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Remember, this just shows the need for the second amendment. Being a young woman, I have to have the ability to protect myself and my beautiful family. Rachel, I would not consider you young. <laughs> hey, hey. Shots fired, literally. Sliced bread in my pool. <laughs> For months, I have been finding cut slices of bread and hot dog chunks in my pool. I called the police thinking it was a neighbor throwing things into my yard. I installed a ring camera to see if I could catch someone or see anything. I spent $110 fixing a strange clog in my pool pump. Well, this morning, three crows with <laughs> slices of bread in their mouths. We're in my backyard having breakfast. The crust had been cut off the slices. If you are feeding the birds whole slices of bread, please stop. Give them crumbs if you must. This has been going on for quite a while and I can't ask the birds to stop. I know it seems petty. Hey. Tell those crows, girl. Who's gonna tell them? Not you. I know it seems petty, but this is actually becoming a problem. Can't believe it's been birds this whole time. <laughs> anyway, please stop feeding them entire pieces of bread. They end up in people's pools. Thank you. Wow, new fear unlocked. Noted. Okay, I will avoid feeding the crows entire pieces of bread and hot dogs. Are you sure they're not just stealing them? Crazy raccoons. Okay, area of 65th Ave. Last night spotted at least five possibly inebriated <laughs> raccoons pushing a recycle bin down the road. <laughs> On 65th Ave, FYI, if you are missing your bin, some drunk raccoons stole it. 
Again, new fear unlocked. Who carved pee pee into my pumpkin? Hi, neighbors. At some point yesterday, a person or persons who do not live in my building removed my uncarved pumpkin from my stoop, carved it, and replaced it with candles and all. They carved the word pee pee into the side of it. Happy Halloween. Poll, are you sick and tired of coyotes killing your pets and potentially your children? 45% yes, 55% no. Oh, that's an interesting take. Rather dark. No, I love it. I'm a big fan of coyotes killing my pets. Mind your business. Explosion? Does anyone know what that loud noise was at 3.30 a.m.? Sounded like an explosion. There is a lightning storm. I didn't know what it was. I am only 10. Where's your mother? Little Jimmy is on next door app. Okay, let's get him off here. Urgent alert. Could everyone be quiet for a few days? I need to catch up on sleep. <laughs> I'm not sure it works like that, John. If only. Subscribe.